YouTube. This your man Spill Dog. Man, you know something? After watching that fight on Saturday night, man, Floyd, Floyd, Floyd messed up real bad. Let uh, Tank get away from him because Tank the best thing from 140 on down uh, by far and clearly. And Tank gonna be a superstar. I mean, Floyd has got to really be sick about losing Tank because. If he wanted to get revenge from Tank, the only way he could do it is get in the ring with him himself because he's not going to be able to find none of these dudes from 140 down or from whatever weight division Tank fighting in, from 140 on down, he's going to be he knocking everybody out. He can outbox them for a few rounds, then knock them out. I mean, Floyd, Floyd arrogance. And, man, you know, and I actually like Floyd the boxer, man. His arrogance really, really... He really messed up letting Tank get away from him. Uh, although Tank is a big star, if him and Floyd could have kept, could have got on the same page somehow, do you know how big both of them could have got together? I mean, you know, Floyd do this a lot. You know, he get with the right people, but if it ain't all his way, he don't want to be part of it. It seems like, like, what if Floyd and Fifty stayed together, and he had Fifty Cent with his with his business mind and money? And with his, you know what type of power moves they could have made? They could have took over boxing. Cause 50 would have would have took care of the business while Floyd out was doing doing what Floyd do. You know, uh man, uh, sometimes boy, I mean, yeah, I know Floyd filthy rich and, and he probably don't have, he don't need another dime for the rest of his life. But since you in business, since you are, why wouldn't you want to be the best? And you was the best fighter in the world. Why would you? Why wouldn't you want to be the best promoter? I'm not. I. I. I really. This part is very bewildering to me with Floyd Mayweather. Why get in this game promoting, and then gonna be out here lack of days of cool and playing with it? You know, uh, treating it like it's a little a little part time hobby instead of a business. You know, I. I you know, and that's why it could be why Leonard gone. It maybe that was Leonard's responsibility, and he got too used to. You know, chilling and trying, kind of doing what Floyd do, and you know, uh, you know, when shit go wrong, somebody got to get blamed. Of uh, the the big man ain't gonna take it. He go, he gonna, you know, he gonna, he gonna blame somebody else. Uh, but yeah, man, Floyd lost. Floyd, like, Floyd lost the best best fighter in boxing right now, especially for his weight in his weight classes. He gonna have the best knockout percentage in, 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 if he keep it up. He gonna be one of the all time greats, and I don't see nobody no time soon. You know what? Lomachenko is probably his toughest fight now. You know when I look at this now, because you know I think Lomachenko when he see Tank size, regardless of the power, Tank Tiafimo and Devin was way bigger than him and taller. And Tank gonna be at least in in a, in a much better size. They, they feel. Whenever that fight happens, they gon' they gonna rumble. Y'all remember how it was with him and Gary Russell? Uh, he already know what he gotta do when he get in there with black fighters. So he finna man, they finna get busy. That's why I think he gonna get knocked out though, cause uh he got a lot of heart. And once he turn up, Tate gonna turn up with him, and, and bombs gonna be flying. I I like Lomachenko, but he get knocked out by Tank. But I I actually think now Lomachenko is his toughest fight. I really do. I think if he beat Lomachenko. It's smooth sailing from there, honestly, for everybody else in the division, real talk. But uh, that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, like and subscribe. To the next time, it's your boy Spiel, dog. I'm out.